Hey guys, uh, sorry, it's been a, quite a while since I've put some more videos online. I do apologize for that. I've been quite busy lately. But I do have an interesting video in store for today. Um, if you have subscribed to my channel or you've looked at my other videos, you've probably seen that um, I had posted last year a video comparison Zeno, which I had been using for over 15 years, against a new product that had come out that year, uh, which was Top Coat F11. And it was some interesting um, review that came out with that. Well, I have another product in store now. Um, I'm going to be comparing the new, the last coat, short form TLC, um, against Top Coat F11, which I have now since changed over to as of last year. Um, it is marketed very, very similar. It has the same products um, in their kits. Um, pricing is very, very similar. It's actually cheaper, which is a plus. Uh, of course, it all depends on the comparison between um, Top Coat F11. So that's what this video is all going to be about. Um, the product itself comes with a very similar kit. It comes with your 16 ounce bottle of the, the last coat product. Then it comes with a 2 ounce travel spray, which is again similar. Um, and then it comes also with the two microfiber towels. So. You know, it's fairly similar, so there's not a lot out there right now on this new product. Like, So like I said, it's a new product that came out, so why not get this uh, review out and see what uh, how it compares to the product that's out there right now. So what comes with your kit of uh, Top 11? You have your 16 ounce bottle, a 2 ounce bottle, a uh, travel size. Um, this is not the sprayer, this is a different sprayer. The sprayer that comes with it, basically just your regular sprayer on the top with the plastic uh, clear container, um, just like a lid on top. I found that this, through different experiments, um, you pumped out less, but less product came out. So in the end, you actually have to pump out more because you have to spray a lot in order to cover just one panel that you're doing. Whereas this, which came from um, a leather conditioner product that I had bought online. This is actually their cleaner. I cleaned it all out. But the spray comes out thicker um, and it just makes it so much more easier to actually work with. So I have since popped that on instead. And with the kit you get two of these. Now this is not top coat F11s. Um, I did take pictures and I did take video when I did it um, when I first opened up the top coat F11 box but unfortunately because I didn't include it in the original video I took, the review against uh, Zeno, I ended up deleting it last week, and I can't find it. So it is very similar to this. I don't know if you can see it, but the fibers that I notice is very, very thin. It's really not that soft. I would not consider it personally to be something that I'd want to use on my car, uh, or anybody who really wants to have really good polish on their car and, and to make sure that it's you know safe from scratches and things um, the fibers are very very thin and the one thing also that stood out is the fact that it came with a label on it now this is not like I said the top coat F11 I, I had thrown it out so to be perfectly honest so but this is very very close if you look at pictures and reviews you'll see what this is because uh, I do a lot of detailing on my car um, I ended up getting their gallon which cost about uh, also 300 and $30 Canadian by the time it came here um, and then it comes to around a hundred dollars Canadian by the time it came uh, with the kit with the smaller kit uh, with just this guy so for me personally because I have a lot of car shows you know I do like 15 plus a year uh, I am lo slowing down on it now but last year that's in previous years that's what I was doing so the gallon made more sense for me um, so the average customer probably the the 16 ounce plus the 2 ounce is perfectly fine, but for now that's that's basically what I went with. Let's look at what comes with the last coat box, uh, which again, I, it's pretty similar to um, top coat F11, but you know, the review will tell the story. So I did open up the box ahead of time um, because I was on my own way to work and I was curious what's in it, but I have not yet tried it. So this will be my first time trying it in front of you guys. The one thing I did notice right away it really surprised me is the microfiber towels that come with this number one there are no labels to take off 
Unlike top coat F11, there is label on it. And you don't want a label on there when you're detailing your car because that will scratch. No matter how good the towel is, that label will scratch. And what I noticed about the last coat is it's very soft and very thick. It's what I would consider almost like um, a face towel, but very soft. And this is what I would use on my car. So this was a very good first impression. I don't know if you can see how thick that is, but it's very, very soft. That's a very good first impression. So, you know, that's good. The actual product comes in a bottle, 16 ounce amount of product. Um, you will notice that it's not full and I will explain that at the end of the video. Um, I did have to contact the manufacturer to see, you know, was there something that was reduced on mine or something. Um, in the end it's not, so I will explain to you, like I said, at the end of the video. You then also get a two ounce amount of product. Again, you know, if there's not full, I will explain that. You get a sprayer. Completely different sprayer, I might add. It's, uh, it looks like it's one of those, um, it looks like the garden sprayer, so it probably comes out a lot, um, a lot different than just the average sprayer. You then get, you know, the hose that hooks up to it, and then you get a product here. I'll probably have to take a picture because on my camera it shows it's doing backwards. So if it is, I will show you a picture of what it says. Um, but basically, it's just thanking you for your pro for the purchase, um, how to use it, you know, how not to use it, how to use it, and things like that. It's just a disclaimer, so it's it's good uh, it's good information. And then you do get how to properly use it. Again, if it's upside down, backwards, I will show you uh, in a picture. But that's what you get. Concludes an empty box. Nothing else in there. So let's get on with the actual review and uh, see how it holds up to top coat F11. stripped of F11. Um, just applying water to the driver door just to see how the water reacts and as you can see very slow reaction from the water. Now just to be on the safe side I'm going to reapply CarPro Eraser just to make sure that I've got a full coverage um, on the test panel. I can tell it's been completely removed because the slickness is completely gone. It's almost like a sticky feeling. 
And once again, just to be on the safe side, make sure I got full coverage, I'm going to reapply CarPro Eraser one more time. Uh, this time I'm just going to let it sit for a little bit, uh, just to ensure that it's doing its job to make sure it's got an absolute removal of, the, of any protection on the vehicle. Once again, all slickness is completely removed, so this is, in essence, it's our, uh, our base for comparison. And now the panel is all ready for our testing. So step number one is I'm going to mask off three sections of the door. Uh, the left side will be the base, in other words there's no protection on it. The middle will be the F11 side and the far right will be the TLC side. Just going to fast forward this section. So on the F11 side I'm going to take out two brand new microfiber towels. You'll notice I'll be doing that throughout the test just to ensure there's no uh, cross-contamination. Now I shake the bottle but uh, you don't really need to, I just shook it for the heck of it. So step number two, we will now spray on the F11 onto our F11 test panel. And gently wipe the product on. And then using our second clean microfiber towel just to buff it all off. And just to ensure uh, complete coverage, I'm just going to respray F11 on there one more time. And the steps are exactly the same as the first. I can tell the F11 has uh, created a bond as it's very, very slick feeling. The base is rough as expected. I'm trying to show you with the microfiber towel that the base is kind of sticky, whereas the F11 side is um, naturally very slick. Now I'm going to be assembling the TLC, the last coat from the box, as you can see. This is the first time me actually using it. Uh, you will notice that the bottle is not completely full, and I will explain that uh, near the end of the video. So we'll attach the hose to the sprayer. And then we'll attach the, of course, the product bottle to the sprayer itself. And once again, I shake it, but uh, I don't think you really need to.
And just as before, I'll get two brand new microfiber towels again, just so I can prevent any cross contamination. And now step number three, spray on the last coat onto our TLC last coat panel. And just like F11, simply just take one clean microfiber towel, just buff it in, spread it around, and then finally take another clean dry microfiber towel and just buff it to a brilliant shine and brilliant slickness. And just as the F11 side, I'm going to reapply one more coating of the TLC, the last coat, to the panel just again to ensure full coverage with the steps being exactly the same as before. And so here I'm just uh, checking out the slickness of the two products. Base, of course, is that sticky feeling. F11 and the last coat, to me, felt exactly the same. Both have that just wax feel to it. Once again, I'm just trying to use the towel to emphasize the uh, slickness of it. Alright, step number four is we're going to finally start our test with our water. You'll notice that the base side naturally with no protection is uh, water removal is fairly slow. Now what surprised me is that the F11 side, while a little bit faster, is still on the slow side. However, the last coat is instant. I mean, you can see it in the video. Water removal is instant. I'll just do it one more time just to show. You can see the base is very slow water removal. The F11 side is a little bit faster. But the F11 side, once again, it just looks like I did a repeat. It's That's amazing. I'm actually really impressed with that. I mean, look how quick that is coming off. That's impressive. So I'm just going to go to each panel individually. You can see that there's definitely a slower reaction with the water. And of course the base is considerably slower. Alright, step number five. This is going to be the true test. Now I'm going to be using a soap that has no wax, no polish, so it's not going to add any uh, protection or polish or shine to it. Um, F11 specifically says to not use soap to wash the car. Um, they actually advertise as never having to wash your car again. Now what they mean by that is don't wash it with soap. You still have to wash it per se with water. You just don't use soap. And the reason for it is because soap will take off F11. And so this test is going to either prove or disprove that. So I'm just going to wash off the soap residue and we'll rinse off the F11 side and see how the water reacts. And as you can see it is considerably slower now that the soap has been removed.
And of course the unprotected side, the base side, is definitely considerably slower. And yet look at the TLC side, the soap doesn't really have an effect. They did state on their website, which drew me to the company and to the product, is the fact that you can wash your car with soap. Something that F11 you simply can't, and here's what appears to be proof of that. Soap was all I added, and, and yet the water removal is just gone. And yet you can clearly see that the resistance to water is completely gone now. In fact, the slickness is completely gone and now matches the base side. Whereas the last coat side is still slick, just like when it was first applied. That, once again, really impressed me. I mean, the video is just speaking words. It, it's... I'm... yeah, I'm actually quite blown away. We're going to try the test again, but we're going to take off the tape so you simply just see three side-by-side -side comparisons. Base side is slow, as expected. The F11 side as you can see, is completely gone. It does not appear F11 is even on the panel anymore. And once again, TLC seems to be passing flying colors. So I'm just going to spray off all any type of soap residue just to ensure that I don't have any contamination. And as you can see, as if I was washing the car just with water or to say it's raining out, you can see that the F11 and the base are almost mimicking each other perfectly. Whereas the last coat side is already dry. Look at that. It's drying instantly. And once again, the base and the F11 side they're just exactly in sequence. So now we're just going to try a steady stream of water instead of a spray hose and just see its own uh, reaction to the water. And you can see for yourself, look at the TLC side, look at the last coat side. It's dry, the base and the F11 side are still wet. And what surprised me, it appears to be the more that I add water, the more the F11 side gets slower and slower and slower. Almost like it's simply washing it away. And yet, once again, the last coat prevails. This really surprised me. I was not thinking this would happen. So we're just going to make sure that uh, TLC can simply be removed just by using CarPro Racer or Isopropyl Alcohol. And you can see since I added the CarPro Eraser that it is in fact removing the uh, last coat in the panel. Now I just want to show you that the last coat does in fact bead. It's not just that it sheets water, you can see that it beads. Um, and it actually beads quite well, as you can see in this video. So it's time to add it onto the car. Now you can, just like F11, you can apply it to any part of the car, whether it's metal, glass, plastic, rubber, leather, vinyl, 
paint, of course, and it still gives that great slickness and that great shine and great protection. And best of all, it seems to be really robust against water and soap. Now, what got me about F11, and I never really caught on. Now, I do a lot of multiple shows um, almost every week. I was doing a show last year, and so I naturally didn't really notice that I was simply just reapplying it. I never got a chance to have it, you know, um, settle for the three months that they claim that it would be uh, on the car for. And so I was just adding coats and adding coats. I never did notice the fact that it wasn't working as, as advertised. So as you can see, what the last coat did to my car is incredible. Absolutely shiny, reflective, mirror-like, and a great, incredible slick and great shine. It makes it much more easier in the future to clean the car off because if I get dust or dirt or mud, um, it'll make it easier to come off the vehicle because I just simply use water or in this case now I can use soap and clean the car off. And of course, as I mentioned before, you can use it on your metal, you can use it on your rims, your polished aluminum, your chrome. It's an incredible chrome cleaner. It's an incredible metal cleaner. It's an incredible product. And leaves a mirror-like finish. That, once again, is really slick. So it's going to make cleanup really, really easy. And those who have the rims where the brakes uh, leave a lot of brake dust it's this is going to make it so much more easier to clean because it's not going to be able to stick to the surface as much as it can with it not being protected so here's a walk around of my car with the TLC product, the last coat product, and as you can see, an incredible shine, incredibly slick coating. I'm very, very happy with the results. It, like, my test absolutely just blew me away. I was not expecting that. So I can definitely say that I'm switching over from F11 to the last coat. That is a definite for sure. I mean, look at the mirror-like reflections. It's just amazing, amazing product. Now, wait till you see the nighttime pictures and video that I took. Um, if that doesn't speak louder than words, I don't know what does. Now one thing that should be noted is that these are not the original louvers. Uh, they came with blisters on this 1992 Camaro Z28. Um, with the new hood, I had the um, IROC louvers added to it. Um, and they were painted black and then I had them clear coated. That way I can apply polish to it and give the reflective look to it to match the vehicle's paint. And of course I should also mention that the headlight pockets are also not factory. Um, they normally come flat. These were painted and clear coated. So once again, they give that uh, reflective look. It just leaves the hood looking wet like. 
here's our nighttime video and I just happened to get perfect timing this car just came out of nowhere right as I was doing my video <laughs> it made for a pretty cool video just look at the reflection that this product leaves amazing now it's neat because this place is uh, right down the street from me and it has a lot of neon on it it's a gas station that I'm near so what a great way to show the results of the last coat on my car to be perfectly honest one of the things that I was curious about was whether or not the last coat would have the same smell as F11 now F11 has this unique smell to it and so I figured it'd probably be the similar product as F11 and you can tell right away when you smell it it has not got the same scent it's definitely not the same product that's in it now at the time of doing this video they don't currently have any trial bottles or like sample bottles to try out but they do have a 30-day money-back guarantee so if you're for whatever reason not satisfied with the results just simply contact them and they'll try and help you out but uh, I mean take it from me I've used a lot of products and this just absolutely blew me away and I know that I will be probably sending a lot of customers to them because I am in a lot of car shows and people do see what I'm using on the car and I'll definitely be spreading the word another part that's different from top code f11 is the fact that with top code f11 they say to use the top coat f11 product as the clay bar lubricant in other words you use a lot of top coat f11 because as anyone knows if you use a clay bar you have to use a lot of lubricant you don't want to be scratching your car and you will find that you will use a lot of product if you use top coat f11 as a claying agent however with the last coat they actually tell you do not use it as a clay lube in fact simply use your regular claying lubricant and then just use this as a last coating now I do have a beef with top coat F11's bottle they have a lot of advertisement but until I looked really deep into the product itself the bottle has nothing as far as safety other than the fact that it says keep out of reach of children but with my first aid course that I took, I was under the impression that all bottles are supposed to have the directions and what to do in case there's some type of emergency, something were to happen. For example, let's say I have a kid and my child consumes it, okay? It, it drops on the ground and that by mistake, he drinks it, okay? I need to know what do I do? Do I induce vomiting? Do I don't induce vomiting? Do I have him drink a glass of milk? Do I have him drink a glass of water? Do I need to send him to the poison center right away? Or do I just need to, you know, flush out of the system? You know, there's things like this that you need to know. If you get it on your skin, is there something where it's going to cause a rash? Or you just have to wash the area off. What happens if you get it in the eyes? Do Is it absolutely serious where you're going to have problems, possibly having eyesight problems? Do you, do you simply rinse the eyes out with water for 15 minutes or do you need to immediately take them to a clinic afterwards these are things that you need to know and they don't say anything what happens if you breathe it do you need to make sure you have uh, a face mask on because it's strong smell to it which is toxic you know it doesn't say anything like this on the bottle except for keep out of reach of children that's great but what happens if something were to happen that is important to me and it should be important to a lot of if not every consumer that buys a chemical. Now what blew me away is when I looked at the last coat bottle, again it has lots of advertising on how to use it and you know tips and tricks and things like that. But then I came to the other side of the bottle and it showed you not only you know don't use it with children around, but the fact that it gave you first aid. It told you what happens if you were to have it consumed. What do you do if you have it it's swallowed, it's in your eyes, what type of prevention measures to take, what happens if you get it on your skin, I mean, they even give you a phone number on who to call if something were to happen. That to me shows this is a great product and it's a trustworthy company to deal with. And that is another reason why I will be switching to the last coat. 
They also have great customer service. I have had instant replies. They have Facebook Messenger in which you can talk to the customer service rep right then and there. Um, F11, you have to basically send an email out to them and you either get a reply much, much longer. Sometimes you don't ever get a reply. I have sent out emails to uh, Top Pro F11 and I either got a reply you know, a week later or I simply never got a reply. But with the last coat, I've had absolutely no problems asking questions and getting answers. So I just want to take the time out right now to talk about the bottles themselves. Um, when I opened up the box and looked at the bottles, it almost looked like a short changed. Um, so I contacted uh, the last coat customer service and what they explained to me was this. Um, the bottles themselves, the large bottle is actually 17 ounces. Um, however, it's filled up with 16 ounces and for the two ounce bottle, there's two ounce of product, but the bottle is 2.7 ounces. Now, the reason for the 17 ounce bottle, as explained by the customer service rep, is simply because it's to allow room for the sprayer itself. It has a, a longer tube on it. Um, and also for room so when you put the sprayer in there that it doesn't overflow and then just some room for shaking ability but um, yeah so you weren't shortchanged the bottle itself is just larger than the quantity that's inside of it now my final conclusion on this test I really was not expecting that to be perfectly honest I was not expecting this when I seen the last coat, um, it's marketed very similar. Pricing is fairly similar. The last coat is actually cheaper than Top Coat F11. Uh, Top Coat F11 sells for $59.97 as opposed to $49.97 from the last coat. And also with Top Coat F11, I'm pretty sure when I had bought it last year, that they offered free shipping to those in the US from I think it was $75 or more. Um, for the life of me, I can't seem to get it to show on the Top Code F11 website anymore. I, I can't find anything to do with shipping. It all has a charge of some sort. One thing that should be noted no matter what is that the last coat does in fact offer free shipping to those in the US if your product is worth more than $75. So either way, in the end, the last coat is cheaper than buying F11 and is a far superior product, in my opinion, to Top Coat F11. The product seems very similar, and I am sure that those who have used F11 likely will assume the same thing I did, and it's just a copy. My test proves it is definitely not a copycat. It is in a league of its own. And in my opinion, F11 has absolutely no match against the last coat. And my test seemed to prove that. The fact that we can now wash our car with soap makes this so worthwhile. So my suggestion to all who are watching this video right now, buy the product and see for yourself, especially those who have used Top Coat F11. You might be quite surprised what you've been missing out on. Um, I'm I'm, I'm still blown away. I did not expect those results to come out the way they did. I mean, I swore by F11 and I was telling everybody about it. And little did I know, it wasn't living up to what it was being advertised as. Also, for those who live in the US, as long as your order is over $75 US, uh, you do get free shipping. And that alone should be a great reason to try the last coat and see for yourself which you like better. I'm pretty sure from my results that you will switch over to the last coat just like I have. And with that, I do want to apologize for the long video. Um, I mean, I easily could have edited it and just had it, you know, really quick things here and there. But I wanted to emphasize that everything that I'm doing, you can see for yourself. You can see that I was spraying the panel down. You can see that I was adding the product. You can see how I was adding. You can see how I removed it. You can see how the water was reacting to it. So there's no second guessing on what I did wrong, perhaps, or you know something I didn't do correctly. Or I just want to emphasize what I was doing and showing you 
without all this editing. All right, and with that, I'd like to conclude this video. If you enjoyed this video, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. And be sure to click the little bell icon to be notified of each new video I post. Thank you for watching, and till next time.